Hey everybody, this is James App at the Dapper Den Barbershop in Richfield, Connecticut, and today I'm going to be trimming my boss's beard. I've cut right. your beard before, right? Uh, but you want to do something a little bit different today? Oh, uh, it's been it's been probably like a year of growth. Okay. And uh, you know, I trimmed it down recently. Um, I didn't straighten it out today. I didn't put anything in it. Uh, I took off probably about an inch or two. But I'm thinking about just going short for the summer and then I'm gonna regrow for the fall. So I want something like really tight on the sides, somewhat of a Viking point, rounded. So you're okay with the Viking? You're okay with it being short up by the jawline? Yeah, I want I want it really then coming out low longer. maintenance on the side, yeah. a little bit of man in the front. A little bit of man in the front. Little okay. like, you know, party in the front, business in the rear type of beard you know where i don't have to worry about it you know obviously we wear collar shirts um you know it's a pain in the butt um with the collar mm -hmm. you know this obviously i was growing long where this is very heavy up top yep okay just do your magic okay and you want me to just take all this off too right yeah i mean less apostle looking okay What's great about Jared um, having this kind of hair is it lets us actually practice doing designs in his head too. Oh my God. Um, so like TJ, if you wanna come over here, like if we were to do a design real quick, we could just practice by doing like a, it doesn't matter, we're taking this down to skin anyway. You just kind of practice getting your idea of lines down. That's a star, obviously. And just kind of when kids come in and they want something like that, we can just practice it. So it's always great to have a, a bulby in the shop. All right, so now I'm using a Babilis, uh Pro Pro Foil. This thing's phenomenal. I'm just going to kind of start taking off the rest of this hair. This was actually the first haircut I ever did ever was on Jared. He let me do this to just get used to the feel of how to hold something. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wall senior here. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a wall magic clip, actually, I apologize. With a two guard on it. And I'm just gonna go down with the grain on this just to get a majority of the bulk off of his beard, which is gonna help me find some lines too. All right, you nervous? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hmm. So when I'm doing this, I'm kind of feeling the jaw and I'm not going completely down. I'm kind of almost pulling off right here. And then I'm angling the clipper this way, kind of straight out from his face. So it's almost kind of fading it throughout the whole beard. Looks better already. You're <laughs> So I'm gonna take off a good amount off the front, just so because he wants it more, a little more maintenance. A little more low maintenance. Low maintenance, sir. Mm. All right, I changed my mind. Oh, oh, it's too late now. Put it back. All right, so now that we got that line established, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna find his jawbone to make this more angular as a Viking type style beard. So I'm gonna kind of comb it this way and find where my guideline meets his jawline. Where's your jawline? Do you have a jaw? Ready? Mm. So you can already see, TJ, if you want to come on this side a little bit, you can already see how this is kind of elongating it, because you're kind of going right from the corner of that jawline. We want to take that and just meet up in the center right now. How do you feel? I feel thinner. No, that's not. The no, camera adds tens pounds. Oh, all right. <laughs> so.
I see a lot of guys on um, on YouTube use a uh, clipper, like a magic clip or a, a Babyliss effects or something like that. This is just, Charles and I had a uh, conversation about this yesterday about why I prefer using this. I don't know. This has just always been more comfortable for me to use. I feel more comfortable using it. Probably a wider base might be easier, but this is probably just lighter in my hand. It fits in my hand better, so I'm just gonna use it. All right. <laughs> All right, so I got a good base for what I want with the beard right now. Now I'm gonna start working on the sides a little bit and start kind of really tightening everything up. So I'm gonna take my uh, magic clip. I'm gonna stretch his skin and I'm gonna go about maybe halfway to the, the uh, ear right here with the clip open. And I'm gonna close it up a bit. So I'm at a zero. I'll do the same thing on the other side now. I always have a problem in the corners there because of the um, corona. Yes. Yes, because of the corona, because of the light spot here and here, and then I got the stripes. So like when I try to blend, it's a little confusing to me. Obviously, so this is the way I like to blend. I like to do that half first, and then put a one guard on, and I just go with the grain, just till I hear it start to cut. I'm pulling off too. Now this helps me establish a guideline for myself. So when I go to this, which I'll turn on my clippers. <laughs> so now when I take a comb and I push it flat against his head, pull out just enough. Starting to blend nicely, huh? What's going on, man? You want to go tighter? Mm -hmm. You want to go tighter than that? Mm -hmm. Down here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go for it. Yeah, you got it. You're the boss, sometimes. My boss is at work right now. So we're just following through with the comb, using that as our guide. Again, I'm just doing this. I'm going to hit this with a razor, so I just want to get a majority of the bulk off just to help me, and I'm going to line, definitely do the lines with the razor. The last thing I'm going to do before um, I'm just going to talk to myself. Talk to myself before the camera starts. Is just thin this out. He's got a thick, thick, thick beard. So I'm just going to kind of hit these corners here, or the tips, and just kind of get some of the weight out for him, so it's not bothering him too much. This is where he starts to get nervous. Mm. Yeah, it looks good. Beard was going fine until the scissors came out. 
can already feel the weight coming out of it as I'm combing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that must feel better. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to be using the Temple Smoke today. Let's keep his beard down. And the great thing about this Viking beard. That's styling it. That's forms, just, it just yeah, forms right itself away. because of the jawline. And that's what I was talking about. I wanted that low maintenance on the side. Yeah. And then I just put a little product in and call it a day. That's it. That's all you have to do for it. Looking good, dude. How do you feel? You look thinner. I don't feel thinner. No, but, no um, that's your diet. Yes. I try. <laughs> I got to say. How do you feel? I, I feel like I should give you a raise, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, but otherwise, good, good cut. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Very nice. Thank you from the Dapper Den. Appreciate it. Beard Brand, this is my father. Father. He's got a cigar and a drill. <laughs> Thank you. This is a classic. You need to get this. Mm -hmm. That's a classic. All right. Nobody knows what you're saying. You're old. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. I'm going back to you. Go do what? You're retired. What do you have to do? <laughs> I gotta go take a nap. <laughs> I, have go, I have to go sleep. <laughs> Look both ways before crossing the street, Stick. Woo! Enjoy that video? Well, go ahead and treat yourself to beard oil. We got a new formulation, new packaging, and a new price. Head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself, my friends.